In this video, we're going to cover the different stages of syphilis, which is a sexually transmitted infection or STI that spreads when you have vaginal, anal or oral sex with someone who has the infection. Syphilis is caused by a bacteria and antibiotic medicine can treat it. However, untreated syphilis can lead to serious health problems, including blindness and damage to your brain, heart, eyes and nervous system. So what are the stages of syphilis? Well, syphilis can progress through four different stages. The infection causes different symptoms in each stage. Now, people are very contagious in the first and second stages and can easily pass the infection onto their sex partners. And the stages of syphilis are primary, secondary, latent and tertiary syphilis. So let's take a look at primary syphilis first. Well, the first stage happens two to 12 weeks after exposure to someone with syphilis. During this stage, a smooth hard sore called a shanka develops on your genitals or mouth. Now a shanka is small and usually painless, so you might not even know that it's there. The sore will go away on its own within a few weeks or months. However, this does not mean that you don't have syphilis anymore. If you don't receive treatment with medication, the infection will then move on to the second stage. Now you can pass syphilis on through vaginal, anal or oral sex during this stage. Now the next stage is secondary syphilis. About one to six months after the syphilis sore goes away, a rough bumpy syphilis rash will appear. Now this rash can cover your whole body including the palms and soles of your feet. The rash doesn't usually itch and you may also have symptoms such as fever, fatigue, wart-like sores, muscle aches, weight loss, headaches, hair loss and swollen lymph nodes. Now you can pass syphilis infection during this stage during vaginal, anal or oral sex. Now these symptoms can come and go for months or years and just because the syphilis rash has gone or you're not having any of the symptoms that I mentioned doesn't mean that you no longer have the infection. You will still need treatment with medication and without treatment the infection can move on to the latent stage. This brings us on to the third stage which is the latent syphilis stage. Now if you don't receive treatment during the first two stages the the infection can move into the latent stage. In this stage, there are no outward signs or symptoms of syphilis, but some people might experience mild flare-ups from time to time. Now at this stage, the infection can damage your heart, bones, nerves and organs, and this stage can last up to 20 years. Now it's rare to pass syphilis to your sex partners during the latent stage, but without treatment, the infection can progress to the late stage. Now the fourth stage is late or tertiary syphilis. For many people, symptoms don't progress past the latent phase, either because the infection cures itself or because the symptoms are too mild to notice. About 20% of people do progress to the late syphilis phase, which causes a range of serious health problems. The problems can include brain damage, so dementia and cognitive health problems, heart disease, as well as movement disorders and muscle problems, nerve damage, seizures, and even vision problems, including blindness. So why is all of this important to know? Well, I think there are three main reasons. Firstly, syphilis is a sexually transmitted infection that is on the increase. When I was at medical school in 2008, I was told that it was uncommon. However, in 2022, the levels in the UK were at their highest since 1948. It is still a relatively uncommon STI, and to give you some context, chlamydia is about 20 times more common. However, it is still important to be aware of given the increasing incidence. The second reason is that syphilis is treatable and picking it up at an early stage can help to prevent later complications. So if you've got symptoms of syphilis, a sexual partner has told you that they have syphilis or any other STI, you recently had sex with a new partner but didn't use a condom, you're pregnant or planning to get pregnant and you think you might have syphilis, or if you've injected drugs using a needle also used by someone who might have syphilis, you should get a test. The third reason is that syphilis can be prevented. Using condoms consistently and correctly can help to prevent against syphilis as well as other STIs. Now I'll make a more detailed video later on about treatment, but for more information on this and much more on this topic, check out the links in the description box of this video, including where you can access free STI testing in the UK and USA. Thanks for watching and until next time, bye.